Hey guys, my name is Uma, welcome to Trending Reviews. So I'm wearing the Samsung Galaxy Watch. I've got the 46 millimeter silver edition. I've been using this for the past couple of weeks. Over the past two weeks, I've just been experiencing a couple of things that I really like about it, which I think is worth mentioning to you guys, and a few things that I dislike about the watch in general. So I just wanted to give you an update of my top five likes and dislikes of using this Samsung Galaxy Watch. So let's get straight into it. Right, so running through the top five likes about this watch in no particular order. One of the things I really like about it is the battery life. It comes with a wireless charger as you can see here. Just place it on there and it charges within an hour to full battery and it lasts up to seven days and I've experienced really good battery life with it. I've seen a lot of smart watches out there on the market. Some of them have got one day battery life. I know the Apple watches is about a day. Some of them say two days, three days, four days, but none of them really go as long as seven days for a watch of this level so personally for me that's actually one of the reasons why i actually bought this watch is mainly for that battery life of course i've used things like the fitbit before this which has similar battery lives but again it can't do the same amount of things as this watch obviously this is a big color screen mammoth of a watch with loads of apps integrated into it so it's a little bit different to those types of little fitness watches and fitness armbands but nonetheless that's one of the top things i really like about this watch the next thing i really like about it is the cover to lock so what that means is if you're reading through messages, you're cycling through, you're going through the watch and you don't want people next to you just having a look around at what you're doing. There's a quick way to actually just lock the screen rather than always looking at the buttons and just waiting for the timeout. So all you have to do is just cover it and it disappears. So let me show you that again. Just cover the watch and it detects that there's no light coming through and it just turns the screen off and locks it so it's quick and easy for me. So the next thing I really like is the power saving mode so when I have about 15% battery life it gives me an alert to tell me if I'd like to switch it to power saving mode. Click yes and it extends the battery quite extensively so 15% will probably last me maybe half a day or something like that so this will give me an extra full day for just in power saving mode with that 15%. It cuts off the color screen, it makes it black and white, it reduces the number of notifications, and it just gives that little bit of longevity on the actual watch itself. So for me, that's very beneficial. So another feature I really like is about the voice to text command in replying to messages. So let me give you an example. So as you can see, I've just received a message. Hey, are you free today? So if I just scroll down, I choose this microphone icon. Hey, I'm busy today. Maybe tomorrow? As you can see, it translated it and I just click send. Then the person will just receive that message and sometimes it might not pick up exactly the same translation as you're saying, but you can repeat that and try again. As you can see, Okay, I'll call you tomorrow. It did a pretty good job picking that up and I think that's really useful when you don't have your phone out with you, you've got it in your pocket and it's not in an environment where you like to pull it out, then you could just do that by using your watch as well, just make it easier when you're in a hurry walking on the street or so on. The next thing I'd like to mention is the ability to link your watch to your laptop for example. So. Here's an option for PowerPoint slider. So I've tried this with a couple of presentations on my laptop. This basically allows you to connect the watch to the presentation using PowerPoint. At the moment, I don't have it with me, but then again, it has to connect first and pick it up on your laptop. You can use this to go to the next slide, to the previous slide, or just go through the various transitions in your PowerPoint slideshow. And sometimes you can do this with the swipe or you can use the buttons or the swivel. And generally it does work very well. Sometimes I found it disconnects in the middle of a presentation as well, which is not ideal, but it's on the right track. And if I was presenting to various amount of people in a workshop or a training session, for example, then this would come very handy for me. Right, so running through some of the things I dislike about using this watch over the past couple of weeks. Firstly, I wanted to utilize Samsung Pay so I can just make payments wirelessly by using my watch, maybe using it on the tube as a, a wireless payment. But I've realized that Samsung Pay is incompatible with my bank account. I'm actually currently with Barclays and there's no way for me to connect to Samsung Pay with them. 
they have their own sort of mobile payments through NFC. They don't really get compatible with the Samsung Pay options. I think that's a little bit similar. I've had problems with Android Pay as well, but nonetheless, I can't really use that. So I won't be using payments with this anytime soon. Secondly, as I showed earlier, I did like the voice to text feature in replying back to messages. One thing I'd really like in a future update, it does have a microphone, so I'd like to be able to reply with voice notes. So when you receive a WhatsApp message, you click on the microphone icon to actually send a voice note. Maybe limit the recording to 60 seconds or something, but I think that's very beneficial. It's just a lot easier. When I first saw the microphone icon in the replying to text message feature, I assumed they were voice notes until I realized they were actually voice to text commands. So if that can happen in the future, that would be great and I'd be looking forward to that. But one of the things I really struggled with is actually getting the text recognition to be 100% accurate. So those are that's one of the dislikes of uh, using that. Another one I've come across is the wet marks and sort of scratches that you can easily get on this screen. So when I'm out and about and maybe it's raining just ever so slightly, the wet marks on there, it stays and you can see it very visibly indoors, outdoors. You just have to always make sure you have a cleaning cloth with you. I find myself just rubbing against my shirt to keep clearing it, but nonetheless, it's supposed to be waterproof. It is waterproof and I just think it's should be a little bit easier to clean especially when you are washing your hands regularly throughout the day as well you get splashes on there they'll stay on the screen so you have to make sure you continuously make it clean and one of the other things i find as well the fingerprint marks are quite visible as well so possibly if there's a way for them to make that screen a little bit easier to wipe and uh, uh, more resistant to wet marks and fingerprints i think that would be a big win the other thing i wanted to mention which I was actually quite surprised is for a fitness watch it actually doesn't come with a timer or a stopwatch app so there's multiple widgets that come on this but timer and stopwatch is something I use when I'm in the gym I want to be able to time myself now what I realized afterwards is that I have to go to the Galaxy App Store separately to actually download that so for me that's not a really good way to you know utilize really good fitness features that already come with this watch but again those are the two mo most commonly used fitness apps i guess i mean what do you guys think you use a timer and stopwatch more than anything it took me a while to figure out that it wasn't actually available with the watch i had to download it separately but nonetheless that's what it is and lastly with one of the dislikes is the actual weight of the watch i've noticed when i've shown people the watch as well they've all said the same thing that it's pretty heavy now this comes in at 63 grams for the 46 millimeter silver edition model now, if I just compare that with something like the Apple Watch Series 3, that's around 40 grams. It's slightly more heavier, but overall, I don't think there's a lot of watches out there that are going to be heavier than this. And when you first start using it, it does feel quite bulky on your arm. But then when you get used to it after a couple of weeks, it just becomes natural to you. You don't start thinking about the weight anymore. It just, the features of the watch outweigh the actual physicality and the the weight on the pressure of the watch itself on your arm so it's a minor thing but it's one thing just worth to mention all right guys so those are my top five things that i like and dislike about the samsung galaxy watch if there's anything else that you think is worth mentioning then please do let me know in the comments below as always check out my instagram at trending reviews you'll find some more pictures of the galaxy watch i tend to download widgets which i think are useful and i think you guys will like it so i will post them on my instagram there I hope you subscribe, I hope you like the video and I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.